Hey guys, it's Cy back again from Tech Translated and welcome back to another video. It's another upload on the camera series where today I will be explaining what ISO is. Let's try to hit 20 likes on this video and without any further ado, let's get started. First of all, ISO is short for International Standards Organization. It's not really a name directed towards a feature as it was carried over from the film industry, but really the name of a definite company. However, the name is so as it's the main governing body that standardizes sensitivity ratings for camera sensors. ISO is not easy to master, as just like HDR, it depends on the light and motion of your object. ISO is a feature for changing how much light you let into the camera or the sensitivity to light. The normal sensitivity ranges from 200 to 1600. This is mostly on the newer smartphones like the LG V10. However, with digital cameras, the range is much larger and can be as low as 50 or as high as 204,800. But wait, that's not all. The higher you go up in this range, the more grain appears on the photo as the lens simply cannot focus through all of that light. Grain is basically what you are seeing on screen right now. All these dots over the picture. So if you do want a good photo, then the lower the better. And again, that all comes down to the speed and compatibility of your camera shutter. More on that in the next video, and the lighting in that spot. But typically, a lower ISO gives more aesthetically pleasing images and bolder and sharper colours. Here are some situations where a high ISO will be useful. If maybe you're capturing an animate object or animal, and if your device is quick enough to snap a photograph, then a higher ISO will ensure you have enough light in the picture. Also, if you're really into your photography and really go crazy with filters or messing around with the settings, bumping up the ISO a bit can give the image a more vintage look with the amount of noise. Noise is simply another term for grain that can also be used in context when the camera picks up slightly inaccurate colours or slightly distorted images. Overall, ISO can really add a lot to your image. It can make it look terrible when using the wrong lighting or at high ranges by adding grain to the picture, but can also add a sweet vintage effect. It provides more accurate colours when used in the correct way and low in the range. By the way, my next video is going to be a Q&A just to make the channel more entertaining and something different. So get your questions down in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer as many as I can. So that concludes this video, hopefully you've enjoyed. Go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Bisai. I'll catch you next time.